As the uh, fog of mayhem dissipates, the full picture of the terror of the crisis that took place in the nation's capital on Wednesday is coming into focus. No one wants a repeat of January 6th, when a mob of the world's angriest aunts and uncles attacked the Capitol building. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. This never been anything like this. We will not let them Hi, my name is Muriel. I am currently in 12th grade. Okay, so the question is, as a person who lives in Colorado, how do you feel about what occurred on January 6, 2021, and what are your opinions as a person of color? I'm really frustrated and disappointed at the events that happened. It's crazy how a secure place could get breaking into, especially since it's the capital. As a person of color, it's, uh, it's disappointing seeing that they were the consequences that white people have received versus like the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, it was shocking to see that they didn't get the same consequences, you know, like like Black Lives Matter got tear gases. Um, they received like a lot of uh, beatings from police. Uh, I didn't see that in the rating at all, especially unless it was the, ra uh, the night shift. I noticed that the night shift, like they were using more force with them, but the morning uh, crew, they definitely just wanted them to get in, do whatever they wanted. There was no consequences whatsoever. So it's crazy how um, us as a society doesn't realize what we're doing is wrong. You know, the, the lies that our president has like uh, placed into us. Some people don't believe what he says, but uh, most people, you know, are going with what he's saying. That's why the rating happened in the first place because of Donald Trump. So that's what, uh, my opinion is, as a person of color, I'm very disappointed. Hi, I'm Caleb. I think that what happened at the Capitol, uh, I don't think you should be 100% blamed on Donald Trump. Um, and that's not to say that uh, he didn't cause it, because I think he is a spark that, um, you know, led to the riot. But I think it's a larger issue with contemporary conservative um, rhetoric, which states like there's an outgroup, you know, that's just what conservatism is based on. Um, there's an outgroup, whether it's um, blacks or immigrants or the poor. Uh, these people are infringing on your rights. You know, you're being, um, you know, that's just what we've seen Donald Trump be most effective at. But I think it's something that's existed in our country for uh, a lot longer than people would like to believe. So I think um, we should really sort of just take a step back and not just try to, you know, use Donald Trump as a scapegoat and say, oh, it's just crazy Trump supporters that believe this. Uh, and yeah, no, they're crazy, but um, you have to acknowledge that it's a larger group of Americans that, um, you know, think that their rights are being infringed upon when in reality, they're just, um, you know, they're the oppressors. They're the ones with the power. They're the ones that have upheld the status quo for so long. And um, so when you see that these people, you know, raise pitchforks and try to raid the Capitol, um, you know, it's much more harmful than, you know, you see uh, any sort of protests with Black Lives Matter or um, against ICE detention centers, because uh, those are the people that already have all the power. So if the people with the power think that they're being oppressed and they want to um, gain more power, you know, even undermine an election, then at that point you literally have fascism. So I think we need to not just sort of think, oh, Biden's in office, we're we're chilling, uh, we're not chilling. Uh, I think. I think we have a lot to work on. Should know it as a doctor of law, someone who studied law, someone who has legal experience. Um, I think it shows the passionate punishment that we have in our system. So all of these people that are being ar arrested for insurrection, for storming the Capitol, um, they will spend less time in jail if they're convicted than people that were arrested for nonviolent crimes, people that look like me, right? People that were arrested for nonviolent crimes. Uh, we have people that have, been, that have spent decades in prison for nonviolent crimes, but because of this portion of our population uh, decided that a democratic election didn't, the outcome of it didn't sit well with them, they took violent action against our country, right? Um, so I would 
I'm not surprised by it, but I would tell you to stop and think what would have happened if it would have been Black Americans or Muslim Americans that would have stormed the Capitol. Like, how would the outcome have been different? Also, how would the prosecution have, how would the prosecution be different of those people? Um, as a person of color, so as a Black man, so I, I wouldn't go simply as a person of color because we have a lot of different people of color. They deal with different challenges, different uh, different types of bias, different types of racism. So uh, as a black male in our country, uh, I would say I, I pretty much responded to that, but it just shows the, the way different people are treated, right? Um, and I'm not surprised by it at all. One thing that I am proud of is that we're actually naming people now, we're identifying uh, individuals that are parts of these systems that perpetuate this type of this action and this type of bias that we see in systems. Um, so I, I am proud of that, that we can identify people. And I would say that's the biggest thing. Uh, whether you face bias uh, from a system level, from a school level, from an employment level, I would always call it out, always. And don't talk about it as just the situation that happened make sure you name the people that are taking these acts because that's the only way individuals will ever be held accountable. Um, and they're doing a good job of actually holding individuals accountable, even though their punishment won't be, uh, it won't be on the same level as it is for a lot of poor people that simply are punished for doing what they need to do to survive. So that's my position.